Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 has uh, continued to rise the last couple of sessions. S&P making almost record highs again um, last week and yesterday. Uh, fifth straight rise uh, in, a, in a row. And as you can see there, we're actually trading above potential uh, resistance at 16.401, which now may act as support. Next potential resistance at 16.598. And even the uh, kind of escalation in um, Ukraine is not really dampening the spur of the US stock market right now. So a few people were killed uh, over the weekend at a road checkpoint, but um, even though there has been a little bit of disappointing Japanese and Chinese data, uh, the US market still seems very resilient. So looking at the UK 100, similar picture, real strong couple of sessions here, an incredible five previous sessions, especially this one right here that we had on Tuesday. So we're trading above potential resistance at 6666. Next potential resistance at 6713. So um, things are certainly looking on the up right now. Looking at Japan 225, it's come off a little bit, but that's been due in part to uh, yen buying um, that we've actually seen. So that reduces the competitiveness of the Japanese equities globally. But nevertheless, they have had a, a nice run up until this point. Has sold off a little bit today. Next potential support is at 14219. So if we have a look at that dollar yen position, uh, we're coming up quite close to potential resistance at 102.87. Um, it must have actually been some good Japanese yen data that's come out. I'll check that in a second, uh, which is helping to, to push that. I mentioned before that there was pure uh, Chinese data. Uh, as ever, there's a real mixed bag over there, but we'll have a look at that in a second. But resistance at 102.87, potential support remains at 101.80, but we're a fair bit away from there right now. Um, if we actually jump on to uh, West Texas crude next, uh, this is really bouncing between these two two ranges. Potential resistance, let's just say it's 105. Potential support is at 103. And that Ukrainian uh, element will be helping to support these prices in the short term. And I can see that the US dollar has lost a little bit of strength versus some other currencies today as well. So looking at gold, gold's coming off again. Um, trading below potential resistance at 1295. Next potential support is at 1267. And um, very interesting that it's come off again so much. Uh, people aren't buying the traditional safe havens right now, which leads me to believe the markets just don't think that this Ukrainian thing is going to escalate too much further. Otherwise, you'd be seeing a lot more yen buying than what we are just now. We are seeing a little bit of yen buying, but nothing too spectacular. Uh, when we talk about uh, uh, Japanese data, you can see here this was yesterday. Um, as a matter of fact, most of the most of the data has already come out. I can't really see what, what the forecasts were, but. Uh, most of them seem to be a little bit worse than expected, albeit this one here was slightly better. Retail sales was okay. And uh, if we actually have a look at today's data, there's nothing too major coming out today. Uh, we have to fast forward on to uh, Wednesday. We've got Chinese PMI data coming out, which we've keenly looked at. And we've got Bank of England minutes, quite a lot of UK stuff, UK centric. We've got the crude oil inventories due out as ever. It'll be crude oil Wednesday at 3.30. So if we finish up with your dollar, your dollar is drifting lower towards potential support at 37.72. Uh, the closer it gets to here, this looks like it could be relatively strategic in the short term. Uh, obviously it depends if we get any decent data coming out. Uh, and there's not a lot of US stuff or European stuff out tomorrow either. So uh, from a technical analysis perspective, your dollar will probably be relatively quiet. Uh, cable, however, is looking to rechallenge potential resistance at one spot 68.20 and it's having a go at that today as well. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of what's happening. So if you keep your eye on the chart form, I can see there's a number of uh, CMC Market clients who've actually been posting their own content on there, which is great. Make sure you make insights part of your layout, as this is updates from our uh, global analyst team, which I'm sure you'll find quite useful. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happens next.